What the? <laughs> Before we dive into the video, let me know in the comments where are you going. Um, but since you're going somewhere, uh, you know, you need to pack something. Well, maybe you don't have to, but like, you, you want to. <laughs> I always am sitting on my suitcase and I'm trying to zip it, but it's never working. It like never, it never works. But I finally have figured out a way to zip your suitcase, to pack your suitcase, just more efficiently, time friendly, and you still get to pack as much stuff. But you just don't have to sit on your suitcase and it's more organized and just everything is full. So I think we need to dive into oh, I flip my hair back and forth. Um, we're not gonna start with hair. We're gonna start out with makeup because I don't know, I like to get my makeup out of the way. It's actually my favorite part. Packing makeup is just so fun to me. Um, and then I like save the other stuff for later. Um, but I'm gonna start out with makeup. So what I recommend doing is going from like A to Z. So like, you know, you're not gonna start with blush and then, oh wait, I want my bronzer. Oh no, my powder. Oh, concealer. Like, I feel like everything just kind of like jumbles together when you do it like that. I don't know if that's just me. But I feel like you need to do it a little more like A to Z. That sounds like so like A to Z. Like, I'm gonna teach you that. But like, I am, but more fun. Don't worry, we're gonna be laughing, not like, <sighs> this is boring. If that happens to you in school, let me know because I hate when I'm like, oh my god, I'm ready to sleep. Um, but we're not gonna be sleeping. Let's just get into the A to Z. So I recommend starting with primer, foundation, powder, bronzer, blush, highlight. My brain just goes blank after highlight now. Eyeshadow, mascara, lips. Just go in order. That's my tip because, oh, I hate when I don't. But truly, when I'm on vacation, I don't want to worry about my makeup. You are so beautiful. We all are beautiful without our makeup. It's just fun to do makeup. I love makeup. But, so, you know, we're on vacation. We want just to enjoy all the time you have there. So, if you want just very minimal makeup, just a few products, I recommend BB Cream. My favorite is the Sunshine Skin Tint. It's literally a rollerball, which is amazing. Um, so, you can just roll it on your face. gives you some SPF, brightens you, put it under your eyes. I just love it. And then waterproof mascara because I feel like it just lifts you up and I love it. It's like eyelash extensions, but you do actually have to apply the mascara. But yeah. Toilet trace. <laughs> I hate that word. I feel like I always think of the toilet and all my products going down the toilet. It's like a toilet tree. I don't know, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but toiletries, you gotta have them. Makeup wipes, 120% because I don't like cleansers because they always leak on me. And plus, makeup wipes, you just wipe it on and wipe it on, wipe it off? You know what I mean? Ugh, love them. Next, I've forgotten this so many times, a hydrating moisturizer for your face and body because the lotion at hotels is like disgust, like it doesn't even do anything and I feel like it breaks my skin out. So just bring your own lotion and you know like when you take off your leggings and it's like covered in dead skin? Um, I don't know if that happens to everybody, but oh, hydrating moisturizer will fix that. And make sure it's under 3.2 ounces. <laughs> Stupid airlines. But if you're not going on the airline, then you don't have to worry about that. Sunblock. Whew. I hate when I don't pack sunblock because uh, it's just, it's not fun. Pretty much, it ruins your trip because your skin just gets all red and peely. Ugh, not good. It's like a red lipstick, but all over your face. So, sunblock and powder sunblock. I don't know if you've ever heard of powder sunblock, but it is so amazing. It just comes in a brush, you dab it all over your skin. Dab it all over your skin. No, but really. Um, but I really like it because I can apply it on top of my makeup it, without it, you know, ruining it. So, check. <laughs> check, literally. Shower cap. Oh my god, I, there's nothing to say about that, but you need one. Uh, if you don't have one, oh my god, what are you doing with your life? You need one. Um, but bring sure. Bring sure? What? Bring one. No, but bring two, so I have one. No, I'm kidding. But bring a shower cap. Hair, hairbrush. That's all you really need. Well, a hairbrush, and I actually like to bring two hair dyes. Hair dyes? Uh -huh. Hair dyes. Um, so I can braid my hair so it gives it like a natural wave. Um, it's not natural because I braided it, but you know what I mean. A nice natural wave so you don't have to bring a hair iron. So now going into clothes, I feel like it really depends on how long you're staying. I, I feel like most people stay like five days, but so let's go in how to organize that. And I actually just had to pack it. The first tip for clothes is packing cubes. Honestly, I've heard so many people talk about them. I'm like, oh, those are cool. But like, I, I never got them because I'm like, it's a little expensive. And like, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it would do a lot. But once I got them, <sighs> Literally, when I was packing, because I usually pack like around five t-shirts, I was packing the five t-shirts, and I swear, there was so much space, so I packed five more, and they literally fit perfectly. Like, honestly, packing cubes organize everything, so you have like everything divided, and when you get to your location, nothing's like messed up, and the people who put your bag on the conveyor belt, and then it goes under the airplane, and then to your destination, like, all that tossing messes up everything, so if I try to fold my clothes, it's just a mess, but packing cubes really do like organize everything, and it does save space. I really recommend them. 
And for actual like clothing pieces, t-shirts, I always bring five, not always, it depends on like how long I'm staying, but like five t-shirts I highly recommend because you can wear them with jeans, leggings, shorts, bathing suits, just like everything. I feel like you can just, you know, make t-shirts work. And to go along with the t-shirts, because I don't think you just want to wear t-shirts, I'd recommend jeans, leggings, and shorts. Honestly, I'm not going to wear more than three bottoms. I usually just change up my top and leave the same bottom on, to be honest. Um, but you can bring more pants if you want to, but I just always recommend those three. For shoes, I recommend flip-flops or sliders. I personally like sliders better because I feel like they're more comfortable and they just slide on. Um, so, flip-flops or sliders, depending on your opinion, or to what, depending on which one you like. Tennis shoes. You never know if you want to go on a hike, and I think tennis shoes are just cute. And if you want to bring hills, go hills. What? <laughs> That'd be weird. And you bring a lot of hills with you. Um, heels. Go for it. Carry-on bag. Oh my god, I hate when I forget earbuds. That's happened to me once, and it sucks because you can't hear. Like, what are you gonna do? No YouTube. No you music. No nothing. Like you're just done. I know you're not done. But you know what I mean? Earbuds. And of course, your quart-sized bag full with 3.2 ounce products for your airline. <laughs> but like if you're traveling through the airport, you know you have to put all your liquids or creams into a quart-sized bag. <laughs> I hate that rule, but you gotta do it. And I always keep it in my bag so it's easy to reach, so I can just put it in the little like scanner thing. Your phone. Oh my god, I forgot it once once when i was in la i forgot it like no phone no phone and i was so bummed because i couldn't do anything like when i'm out like nothing could like it sucked and i wasn't gonna turn back because we were already there so like you know oh, make sure you have your phone like right now where's your phone but just make sure you have your phone oh my god i'm so done with packing i can't wait to go to hawaii i'm not going to Hawaii. i'm going to la but it's okay it's so hot and like humid thank you so much for watching i cannot wait to wake up at four in the morning and go catch my flight <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you.